Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the sales pipeline template. First, let's go into the settings page. Perfect. This is where we set up things such as language, currency, and where we establish the different statuses for our leads. Let's go into the translation tab. As you can see, we already have quite a few languages set up. We have English, French, Portuguese, and Spanish. However, you can still add a new language by translating all the expressions in the list. Once this is done, you can go back to the settings and change your language here. Now, let's go to our leads database. This is where we enter all of our leads and their details. We will go through the process of adding one together. Let's call him Elon Musk. For the company, we'll call this Tesla. And we'll just put a random phone number. Same thing for the email. Perfect. Let's say this client is worth 50,000 USD. Um, for the contact date, we'll set it as today's date, which is the 30th of June. And finally, for the lead status, we will identify him as a new lead for now. Perfect. We can also add notes here that could help us manage this lead better. For example, if he's eager to work with one of our salesmen, John Smith, or if he recently contacted our competitor and got a cheaper quote. Finally, let's analyze the results. Firstly, always click to update. This is to ensure that our dashboard are displaying the latest data. Great. As you can see, we can easily view all our prospects by status including our latest lead, Elon Musk. Let's go to the dashboard now. Once again, always click to update. Here, we have an overview of sales and lead metrics with, for example, the number of leads that were won or lost and their value. We can also visualize this by percentage based on value or number of leads. Several other metrics such as total pipeline value or leads per status, etc. allows us to have an overview of your leads. We have now reviewed the sales pipeline template in its entirety. Enjoy!